hi everyone welcome to another new video from my channel this is Shion so in this video we will discuss a questions from CSI and NET which is about heterocyclic chemistry so now as I have said for organic chemistry reactions is very important to uh, first look at the reagents what they have given to you now see for these reactions you have to find out two products this is A and another product is B. Now, for this, this reagent is actually an alkylating agent. This is very common and you know as a chemist. But for this step, it's quite tricky. So you have a anhydride type of things in a cyclic form. Now you can understand if you have any nucleophile, it will attack here and this bond will break, so ring will be closed. Now you have two acidic hydrogen this hydrogen here and another hydrogen is added to nitrogen so any base if you if you have in the solution any base then it can abstract this hydrogen as well as it can abstract this hydrogen now obviously nitrogen is more electronegative so this hydrogen will be more acidic so any base can abstract this hydrogen and make n minus more easily at room temperature now the next reagent is okay Et2O is a solvent there is no uh, the, it have no role to play for reactions to make forward but this is CH2 minus N2 plus this have an important role this is diazomethane we have also used in previous some questions in another video just check it out so diazomethane actually have something uh, positive N2 plus and CH2 minus so both the both the things you have in this region CH2 minus will act as a good nucleophile and N2 plus will act as a good living group now so one thing can happen this nucleophile can also act as a base CH2 minus so this CH2 minus can abstract this hydrogen as this is more acidic between two then this can make N minus this N minus act as a nucleophile because it have efficient electron now this n minus can attack here and close the ring so there are no other options so just let go forward with this concept say so 2 minus will abstract this hydrogen it will form n minus and then n minus will attack this carbon atom and it will close it will open the ring now one thing very conceptual is important here this nitrogen negative this is a nucleophile this also can attack here why here okay one thing is clear then this carbon atom carries the electron deficiency this this delta positive this carbon atom this carbon atom we are saying that delta positive and this is delta negative that's fine but if we if you think about logically then the answer will come you have c double bonded c and another option c double bonded o now this nitrogen is a nucleophile it's a lone pair it will attack at what lumo lumo energy level of c double bonded c or another option c double bonded o now if you draw the energy level diagram this is c another is c the same level because both are carbon atom this is lumo and this is homo so uh, this will be more energetic lumo as we know more energetic so this is lumo now if you have c double bonded o as you know oxygen is more electronegative so it will have some energy level lower than carbon atom so for oxygen the energy level will be like this here oxygen so the energy level homo lumo diagram will be like somewhere below than carbon carbon this one lumo and this one homo this will like this okay now nitrogen also electronegative nitrogen is also electronegative so nitrogen it is also will be somehow like here for nitrogen nitrogen lone pair uh, level energy level will be somehow here some extent lower or upper of oxygen atom now this will be more closer than this c double bonded o lumo as compared to this c double bonded c lumo so energetically it's more favorable in minus nucleophile to attack the lumo of c double bonded o as compared to c double bonded c this is a very important concept you can apply in another questions i will let you see so now you have this o minus and you have ch3n2 and a nitrogen attached in this carbon atom now as you can see this nitrogen n2 plus can act as a good living group 
Now what is a white cell will act as a good living group because it will make N2 which is enthalpically and NR entropically both favorable. N2 it will act as a gas so entropy will in a, in increasing it will more stable forward reaction will happening for N2 living group and also carbon as compared to carbon nitrogen bond energy nitrogen nitrogen bond energy more stable as I have said in previous all, all the videos that heteroatom bond energy is somewhat greater than the homoatom bond energy so homoatom bond are more stable than the heteroatom bond so it will form this type of compound OCS3 double bonded and N, N moiety is attached here now next thing is alcl 3 ch 2 cl 2 whenever you will get this reagent alcl 3 ch 2 cl 2 only one things can happen alkylation now alkylation will happen what is the probability of alkylation this this bond this bond can attack here or here to figure out how it will happen you have to draw something in tricky form of this compound this compound so this step is quite tricky you have to remember or you have to figure it out by practicing so this double bond can take out this hydrogen and this carbon hydrogen bond atom again not stable this will go like this and this bond can attack here so this double bond is attaching actually with this carbon atom so it will give this type of compound this will form a five member ring this will form a five member ring and you have a double bond means C double CH2 CH3 C double bonded C CH2 so and another thing is that C CH2 C double ME will will remain as it is and this will this part this part is giving like this okay and this part this part this part is actually giving this heterocyclic ring okay now the next thing next thing is that stereochemistry how it's happening now as i have said this is going through a six member cyclic transition state so when it is going six member cyclic then it will be obviously planar now the if this hydrogen is abstracting by below the plane then obviously this also is attacking below the plane that's why this both the things will be below the plane so both the other substituent will be above the plane so in options you have to find out both the substituents will above the plane or below the plane as it is you can choose any one of the options above the plane or below the plane okay so now thank you for watching that's all for these questions